everybody and welcome to the channel. How are you all doing today? I hope that you are well and if you are not well, I truly hope that you find yourself in a place of being well real soon. Today, I am taking you in the kitchen. I received a package in the mail just a few moments ago that I've been waiting for for quite some time and I am so excited to share with you how I make my very own vanilla extract. So, let's go in the kitchen. What I use to make vanilla extract is a container to hold it in. I use vanilla beans and I use vodka. These vanilla beans are a Madagascar a bourbon grade vanilla bean. You can use whatever vanilla bean you have available to you. These are the beans that I'm using. I have been cutting vanilla beans on my cutting board. It does stain your cutting board surface, so if you don't want your cutting surface to be stained, I recommend that you use a cover on your cutting surface. Now, my container, I actually had some vanilla extract in here that I decanted that is right here. I actually made this a year ago and I decanted it into a larger container. So I still had a little bit left in this container. I'm not gonna throw this away because it has some really good vanilla beans still. So I'm going to take my vanilla beans, vanilla pods out of the container and I'm going to begin to slice them in half and put them in the jar. So let me show you doing that. Now I start with clean, fresh, dry hands. I've already cleaned my hands and I'm gonna take my vanilla pods out of the bag. And let me tell you guys, these smell so good. I mean, they have an amazing, amazing smell. So what I do is I take my vanilla beans, lay them on my cutting surface, and I just cut my vanilla bean straight down the center. You can do it either way you like. And I take my knife and I just hope you guys can see. I pierce it with one end and I just run my knife through it like so. And then I place it in the jar. Just like that. Now I'm gonna to continue to do that with all the rest of these vanilla beans until I have my jar full. to use all of my vanilla beans because I'm going to be going to the store and I'm going to be picking up a few more of this size container because I have more tinctures back here that I want to bottle up so for right now I'm going to use this container and then when I pick up these in a few weeks I will transfer it over but I'm going to keep my tinctures in my bottles like that so now all I do is I take vodka. I use 100% or 100 proof vodka because that's how I learned how to do it. Uh, and I really enjoy using the Skull vodka because Skull in Norwegian is like saying toast or cheers or prost, depending on uh, what language you speak. Also in German, uh, Skull is like saying cheers. So. I like it, so this is what I use. And then I just pour the vodka in over my beans, like so. I'm trying to be patient and take my time not spill it all over the counter and then you just cover your beans like so and then you let this sit you shake it up I shake it every day for about a month and I smell it as it's 
beginning to basically uh, mix with the vodka. The vodka is going to pull out all of the uh, medicinal benefits out of the vanilla bean. And believe it or not, vanilla extract is more than just a flavoring for your food. It is a tincture. It has medicinal benefits and it is very good for you. I actually use it. Um, some evenings I'll put a little a teaspoon of it in a cup of tea. I'll put a teaspoon of it in a couple of uh, homemade hot chocolate because I like uh, double chocolate, dark chocolate, hot chocolate. So I, I make that myself. And I will put a little bit in there just to give a little kick of flavor. Sometimes I'll put it in coffee if I'm going to have coffee for dessert late in the evening because this is not the best to put in your morning coffee. But if you're not going nowhere, hey, toast it up, put it in your morning coffee. Far be it for me to be judgy, judgy. But yes, vanilla extract, it has a lot of beautiful benefits in your kitchen, more than just cooking during the holiday season. I'm gonna put some information in the description box below. And I hope that you take an opportunity to make yourself some vanilla extract, just like I did here today. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, do me a favor, share this content. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you like, and until next time, I hope you all are having a good day. Bye for now. I almost forgot. Bonus. I forgot to shake it for you guys and to tell you why I slice my beans in half. I slice my beans to be able to quickly pump, plump them up, but the alcohol will in, get inside and plump them up, but it'll pull all that vanilla goodness out of that if you slice your beans. That's how I learned how to do it, so that's how I do it. So make some vanilla extract, guys. I think you'll like it. Bye for now.